Yesterday I arrived here in Georgetown, Guyana. I went to the Scotia Bank and I uh, withdraw some money and unfortunately I forgot my card inside the ATM and I just realized I had forgot it today. I was checking my documents in the morning and I noted I noticed um, I wasn't with my credit card. So I thought firstly that this card could be in the in my driver's car. I contacted him but he didn't find anything. And so I thought my I, I, I thought better with myself and I arrived at the conclusion that I think my card wasn't at my driver's car, but yes, in the bank. And what I did in the morning, I went with my friend there to the Scotia Bank. I checked the ATM and there was anything there. So I talked with the security guy if there was any card, if they had found any lost card there. So I gave him my, uh, my ID card and they found, fortunately they found. So I'm very happy. <laughs> Uh, it, it worked, someone may have found it and may have delivered my card to the bank guy, so plus for Guyana, <laughs> very nice. This is the national park of Georgetown, Guyana. It's very nice, very chilly, very beautiful, and uh, we have some horses here, some lakes, and let's see what we, we find here. There is... It looks like I'm eating nonsense. <laughs> they will appear or no? Machis is the name. Manatee? Manatee. Manatee. Yeah. They're like sea cows. Gosh! So beautiful! Wow! I went again. Look, guys, we have a manatee here. In Portuguese, we say peixe boy. Wow! And it's original from here, or people just put it here? No, it's. It's from oh, here. Yeah. They get pretty big. I don't... Are they dangerous? No. No. They're gentle. They're How gentle. many of them are, are There's here? There's a couple in here. here. You can uh, just a couple. Yeah. Can I put my hands on yeah. them? Yeah. yeah. You can touch them. Oh god. I never <laughs> thought about three. <laughs> well, three now. Ah, look at them. They're fighting. Wow. They're huge, you know. They're like. Yeah. Gosh, oh. look oh. at that! Oh. Here, you wanna feed one? Yeah, let, <laughs> just a moment. I am at a very important place here in, in Georgentown. This is a very important statue they have here. The name of this guy is Coffee. So Coffee was a slave here in Guyana. He was a house slave. He was very smart, he was educated, he knew how to read, how to write, and uh, Coffee, he organized a rebellion with other slaves and actually they won this rebellion. Actually, they uh, like the, he, he liberated a lot of other uh, slaves from his farm and uh, this happened in Barbies. Barbies is in the east of Georgia, in the east of Guyana, close to Suriname. But what happened then? After the rebellion, after the victory, he like stayed relaxed. He thought uh, the British troops wouldn't come to capture him. And then 
uh, because of that, because of some calm days, uh, actually the British troops were in Barbados and they were coming to Guyana. When the British troops arrived here in Guyana, they kind of interrupted this rebellion. We don't know for sure what happened with Coffee. Some people say that he killed himself because like slaves, like some African tribes from that time, they didn't like to be killed or be considered like uh, losing uh, uh, fights. So some people say that he uh, killed himself and other people say that British troops uh, killed himself. But this is a very important monument and you can see here uh, in the date 1763. This is when this rebellion happened. So let's see it a little closer. It's very well done. It has a lot of details, a lot of the African tribe details very interesting we have here a lot of Guyanese flags I like the Guyanese flag it gives me a little of happiness with the yellow and green and the red together it's really really nice here it's a very big square a round square we have here in this monument and right there we have the present house where the president used to live there and what happened? At the time this statue was built, no, almost no one liked the president. And at the top of that house, the president can see this statue. So the man who built this statue, built this statue in a way that when the president looks like at this statue, looks like this man is playing with this penis. Actually, it's, he has like a, I think, a fish or a weapon in his hands. But from there, from the president's house, looks like this man is he's with his feet in his hands. Anyway, very interesting facts, very interesting story behind this monument. I'm loving Guyana. It has a very nice history behind everything. People are very nice food are very nice and uh, I hope to come back here soon one day to discover more of this country if I had more time and money I'd like to go in the middle of the jungle here in Guyana and uh, go to the Kaya, Kaya Four Falls something like that um, yeah that's amazing it's really cool We have the flag here, let's see the clothes. That. Yeah, That's the statue. So the front half of the garden is the one that is more like well kept and manicured and the back half is allowed to grow naturally because of all of the bird species and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you have other animals apart from birds mm -hmm. here? Caiman, snakes. Wow, caimans um, also. Wow. Um, the same manatee we saw, there are manatees in here. You can see them swimming in the in the canals here. Wow, <laughs> that's so nice. There's macaws and there's a species of bird called the festive parrot which like the easiest place to see it is in the Amazon River, mm -hmm. but you can also find it in here. So it's mind blowing that that rare species can be found in here in the middle of the city. The blood colored woodpecker is one of them as well that's endemic to this area, but you can find it in the garden. Mm -hmm. Is this open in the evening? Mm -hmm. it's, it's usually open all day, uh, but and closes at six o'clock. Is it? I believe it's dangerous here in the evening. People, I think. No. Usually it's full of people. It's uh, packed. Because full of there people. is no light, right? So. No, well, usually bad. you can come all the way here. You come up to the front, uh -huh. and like all of this, like this is not what it looks like. It's well cut. It's uh, well kept. It's clean, but because yeah. it was closed for mm -hmm. almost three years, everything is overgrown. Mm. Like even the road has grass growing. Yeah, on. even, this even is the road. Not what it looks like. 
and there are trails that go around there and trails on the other side that you can go walking on, look at birds, oh, look at plants. Oh, that's cool. Really nice. I even have a bump yeah. speed. It's the name of that, bump speed. Bump speed. It's really nice. Those are the lotus lily which was brought over from India. Oh. Yeah. So if for East Indians, when they, with the same flag, when they're doing that ceremony, mm -hmm. they don't eat in the plates, they eat in these leaves. Mm. So they make oh, a dish called That's the curry. Chinese embassy? Yeah. China is investing a lot of money here. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere, exactly. China is expanding its influence all over the world. But it, I mean, that's good for their countries receiving Chinese money. Not necessarily because like in Africa now the airport belongs to China. Oh yeah. The yeah. shipping ports belong to China because they took all these loans and they can't pay it yeah. back. China's like, yeah, take the money, knowing that they can't afford to pay it exactly, back. Exactly, exactly. So that they can now own the airports and, and you see? Yeah. So it's not good. But I mean, without China, these countries would continue in the same situation. I, I mean, mm -hmm. they wouldn't change or improve. So we have the positive and the negative negative parts of mm -hmm. Chinese investments. Because if you think about the Americans, it's the same thing. Once they borrow money through the FMI, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Countries can afford to pay it back and the interest rate always increase, increase, increase. So yeah. countries keep forever in this this is from an old cricket ground. It's one of the oldest cricket grounds in, in the Caribbean. A border cricket ground. Very old. I didn't hear the Islamic prayers very loud because in the Arabic countries normally they have megaphones where all around the city we can hear. What about here? They do too. They do too. too. Uh -huh. In the evenings, in the morning. Especially in the Ramadan, I believe. <laughs> Are there Muslims working in your company? Uh, I don't think so, no. but my family is Muslim. Oh, your family is Muslim? I didn't know. <laughs> Everybody? But the majority. Some are Muslim, some are Hindu, some are Christians. Like oh, my family has it's all religions. It, it is mixed. Oh, interesting. see so many hotels here <laughs> there's not a lot yeah now they're having a lot more mm -hmm. is it common for Guyanese people to travel between regions or not so common? No. they're like Brazilians they only want to go to the US and Canada oh gosh <laughs> I cannot believe it yeah your neighbors and they don't think about going to Brazil, <laughs> going to Rio or Sao Paulo, it's very far for them. I think you are closer to the USA than to Sao Paulo. Or kind of, I think you're in the middle. It's a 24 hour market. Are there a lot of burglaries here? Small towns, like wallets, things like that. What word is a lot of fun uh, for you to say? What word is a lot Some of people park to just stop and buy and buy and buy on their way home from work. Yeah, you just stop and buy. Come on, I know what you're thinking straight away. Please don't send me bad words. Uh, send all your responses to six seven four eight two seven two six seven four eight two seven two. What word is a lot of fun for you to say? Enjoy saying it aloud. 
All right, you're listening to the afternoon kickback. Let's get straight into our history. Now the referee is getting low. And of course, it's the 3rd of March. We'll take a look at historical events on this day. 1575, the Indian Mughal Emperor Akbar defeats the Bengali army at the Battle of Tukaroy. 1857. Wow, it's big, huh? Yes. Wow, it's very big. We're going to drive through all Yes. What time do they open here? All day. 24 hours? All day, 24 hours. <gasps> wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Gosh, so cool. Please tell me over there. Please have this banana right there. Sweet cake. Just a little one here. Yes. Hold it. Yeah, you got your change. How much is that? 260. Hold on. Now I understood. 260. <laughs> it was easy. 2600. Yes. Hold on. Yeah, I gotta get change. I got a thousand. Alright. Pull up and collect from the buy right there. Hold on. Just, just yeah. Seven forty change. Oh, very practical. Sorry. No problem. It's okay. Australian and American forces devastate yeah. Japanese. Very smart. Nineteen ninety-one. Los Angeles nice. police officers severely beat motorists. Hindu temple. Hindu temple. Yeah. How is? It? Restaurantes. This region here has a lot of restaurants. And uh, in los fines de semana, la gente camina por aquí porque es fresquito, tiene mucho viento. On weekends, people walk here, they hang out with family because it's windy, it's very fresh, and we have a lot of options of restaurants. The best Venezuelan and Creole dishes. Ellos tienen como asado allá y ensaladas, cachorro caliente, no sé cómo se dice eso, muchos sándwiches, chicken salad. That plate looks nice. That plate looks like they they have everything, like beans, meat. I'm sure they're gonna say it. it's not a it's not a <laughs> Amiga, será que tú tienes este plato aquí de la foto? Este que tiene como la patata frita, parrilla, parece que tiene frijoles también, ¿no? Este arriba aquí, este plato grande, sí. ¿Tú tienes este? ¿O algo similar? Sí. Bueno, ¿qué viene? ¿Carne? Depende si quieres carne, pollo o cochino. Sí. Con papas fritas. Ajá. Y ensalada. 
Ah, sí. ¿Y frijoles y arroz no tienes? No. Sí. Bueno, me gustaría uno para llevar. Voy a, voy a cenar eso hoy. ¿Cuánto cuesta ese plato? $1,600. Ah, está bien. Sí. Yo voy a querer con... Puede ser con ensalada. Hay tres tipos de ensalada. Uh -huh. Ajá. Papa, ensalada de macaroni y ensalada de vegetales. Uh, ¿La tercera cuál es? ¿Ensalada de...? Puede ser de vegetales. Ah, ¿este plato tiene un plátano también? ¿El plátano frito de ustedes? ¿O no? ¿Sí? Bueno, porque es riquísimo. Me encanta ese. ¿Pollo, carne o ¿Puede ser mixto? ¿Un poquito de pollo, un poquito de carne? Ajá. Ah, eh, 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 ya tiene aquí. Mira. Ah. Bueno, tiene todo adentro, creo. ¿No? Sí. Bueno, voy a llevarle entonces. Ah, aquí. Ok. Bueno, muchas gracias entonces. Pero contra que tenía un tour 